Today I am answering one of your art questions about what the difference is between oil and acrylic paint. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. Jessie writes, what is the difference between acrylic and oil paint? I started in acrylics about a year ago, but I'm suddenly interested in the slow progress of oil paint. What does it take? You are such a huge inspiration for me. I think you've started a spark in me. Thanks. First of all, I love hearing that I've motivated you guys to paint or draw. That's pretty much the point of what I do. So that's really encouraging for me. Anyway, on to your actual question. I do have a video that recently went up that is a beginner's guide to oil painting. And there I talk about all of the supplies and everything that you will need for that. A link will pop up here so you can check out that video. So let's start with acrylics. Acrylics are water-based. They can be thinned down with water or a mixing medium. The brushes clean pretty easily with water and you can use a conditioning soap to make them last even longer if needed. Acrylics dry so fast. And if you want to speed up that time, you can have a hair dryer next to your easel. So that will definitely make the whole process go faster. Now, of course, that also leads to a problem a lot of people have in getting them to blend smoothly. They dry so fast. So getting smooth blending can be a bit difficult. This is where I use the aid of an airbrush. I just mist water over the canvas to keep it wet so that I can get it to blend and have it look just like oils. But it is an extra step and it does tend to be a little bit more difficult for people to get the hang of than with blending wet into wet and oils. As far as the end result, an experienced acrylic painter can have their end result look just like an oil painting. For me, if you can look at any one of my paintings and say that's oil, that's acrylic, I know I did something wrong. Something went terribly wrong on my end. There are times, even with some of my older paintings, I genuinely cannot remember if it was an oil or an acrylic and I can't tell by looking at it. So I have to go back into my records to find out if it was an oil or acrylic. But it did take me many years to get to the point of being able to make my acrylics look just like oil paintings. You're not going to have the harsh fumes or chemicals with acrylics that you do with oils. So that's a really big bonus for a lot of people. For oils, they're oil based. You can thin them out with paint thinner or a mixing medium. You're not going to use water at all with these. And just really quickly, I'm not going over the difference of water soluble oil. I will say I hate water soluble oils. I don't feel like it. it's not even like working with oil paint. It seems like it should be a different medium altogether to me. I absolutely hate them. The only way I can get those to work and look like an oil painting is if I use an oil medium with them, which kind of defeats the purpose. So just throwing that out here, I'm talking about real oil based paints. Now the brushes, are a lot more work to clean than they are with acrylic, a lot. You're going to clean them first with your paint thinner and then generally you're gonna to wanna to use another brush cleaner on top of that, like a conditioning brush cleaner. I use the Masters. Pink soap is another option. There are a lot of options out there for you, but you're gonna to want to clean the brushes in those two parts. If you just use the paint thinner, usually the brushes will get damaged fairly quickly. The dry time of oils depends on what type of paint you're actually using and what type of mixing medium. The mixing medium that I use is a fast drying medium. And so whatever I've painted will generally dry uh, within 24 hours or so. It'll be dry to the touch so that I can go on to my next layer. But it stays wet long enough that wet into wet blending is so easy. If you've done wet into wet blending with acrylics and then you switch over to oils, as long as you realize that you still need to let it dry in between some of those layers like you would acrylics, you'll feel like you're cheating it so much easier. The problem that people run into with oils is over blending, over mixing, not letting it dry between layers. But if you can do that, it's actually a lot easier than acrylics. The two big negatives are that people have a tendency to make mud with the oils because again, they're over blending and they are toxic. There are fumes there and that will affect some people who are very sensitive. The type of paint thinner that you're using will make a big difference. I personally cannot be anywhere near terpenoid or some of the, the ones that are claiming to be more natural. Those ones tend to make my lungs feel like they're closing up. It's horrible. I can use Mona Lisa Odorless or Gamsol or any of the odorless mineral spirits I've had no problem with, but it's going to depend from person to person. If you have birds in your home, the oil painting fumes are toxic to them and will kill especially the smaller birds like canaries. You have to make sure that you keep your pets away from the paint thinner and the liquid. I had a lady who was taking classes from me years ago and her dachshunds got into her painting supplies and it killed them. So these are things you need to be aware of. You've got to keep your cat away from your paints, you, especially if they're walking up on tables where you've got your palette. You have to be very, very careful of this. A lot of the paints do have lead in them still. So that's another thing to be aware of. You've got to work very clean. You don't want to get that all over your skin. Now, as far as which medium you should choose, that's always the next big question. When students ask me which medium they should choose, I'm talking about adult students, not children. When adults ask me which medium they should choose, I usually will encourage them to try oils. Just because oils are so much easier to get the hang of wet into wet blending. Of course, they've got me standing over 
them watching what they're doing so I can tell them to stop blending so they don't do end up with mud but they are a lot less frustrating for many people to start with acrylics trying to get acrylics to blend for smooth clouds and that sort of thing can frustrate a lot of students who are new to art but if you do start with acrylics and you really master those if you ever switch over to oils it really will be that much easier you just have to remember where you would have let your paint intentionally dry with acrylic is where you want to let it dry in most cases with oil let it dry in between layers and chances are it's going to be way easier for you to get the blending that you're looking for and remember no matter which medium you choose to start with it's going to take some practice your first few paintings are probably not going to be that impressive there's nothing wrong with that that is totally normal that's part of the learning process so don't feel like if you didn't have great results in your first few paintings with one medium that you have to switch because you're not good at this one it takes practice so if you tried one and it didn't work for you don't give up. I have a frequently asked questions page over on my website. If you cannot find the answer to your question there, there is a link where you can submit your own question to be featured in one of these videos. I have a card that'll pop up here, so check that out. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, art Q&A videos every Thursday, and artist vlogs every weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus. all of those social media sites are linked below in the video description where you can keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. If you work in both oils and acrylics, please share in the comments below what your experience was because that may help another artist decide what's going to be best for them.